Hello, I'm Dr. Shalina Stilley, and I'm a professor of philosophy and theology here at JP Catholic. I was raised Protestant, and then when I was a teen, I went through an atheistic phase and was very interested in science and biology especially. And so I thought, well, science can give me the answers to things I need to know. And then one day, I thought to myself, Science can tell me a lot, but it can't tell me why there is matter in the first place, why there's something rather than nothing. And then I found in a New Age bookstore, of all places, I found the writings of Teresa of Avila and John of the Cross and some of the other saints. I think it was just the Holy Spirit, and I thought, oh, that's what I'm looking for. In 1970, the church reinstituted the rite of consecration. So I was consecrated in 2002 by Bishop Galante. It was really a, a blessing to finally, after so many years of being confused about my vocation, to really feel like this is it, and this is my life, and this is a gift that the Lord has given me. Everybody's vocation is to love and be loved. That was something Mother Teresa would say over and over again. You are called to love and be loved. So in a certain sense, we already know what our vocation is. Then there are different states in life. Those are given for the individual, but also for the church. And it's helpful, if you can, to have a spiritual director to talk to about those things. I discern different things, but at the end of my road, it was kind of like Jesus was standing there saying, here's marriage and here's consecrated life, and whatever you choose, I'm going to use that to draw you to myself. It brought me nothing but joy. There was a sacrifice, of course, but also profound joy and peace. Teaching definitely gives me the opportunity to do that. So it's something I'm very passionate about for many, many reasons, but especially because it enables me to share with students what I am most passionate about, which is the, the search for truth, the pursuit of truth. My goal is not to teach students what I think, but to glean what I can from the great masters. So I hope they come away understanding the importance of virtue, the importance of friendship, and the importance of love more than anything, love for God and love for neighbor. One of my words of advice would be to let God speak to you, to not go into it thinking you know what God is calling you to. Many people are very good at that, saying, I, I simply don't know. But other people go into discernment thinking, it's gonna be this. And to not go into it thinking you definitely know, but to be sort of detached and to say, here I am, Lord, I come to do your will and try to live your vocation, which is a call to holiness, to live that in your daily life. Over the next several years, just in terms of my theology and my thinking, it became more and more Catholic. I kind of fell in with the, the sort of Catholic wing of Anglicanism. At the time, there was not anything keeping me back. Even then, I was, was starting to realize 